everyone, it's Salah Pelpi. There are many occasions where customers will send us a file of their logo and say they want to have their design made into pins. But the question is, there are so many ways to make Lafayette pins, and customers usually have no idea where to begin with. So in today's video, we will be guiding you to find the perfect type of Lafayette pin that suits your design the best. First, just think about what size you want for your Lafayette pin. If your design is small and with complex details, then we suggest that instead of printing a posy pin. This is because printing can achieve small details. For soft imitation high enamel, liquid color infills are injected by syringes, so there must be metal lines separating colors. Imitation high enamel requires larger infill spaces than soft enamel, so size-wise, printing is your best choice for small pins, whereas enamel requires larger sizes. When a design is complex and with many overlapping layers or gradient colors, we can only print these details. Take this stainless steel printing apple seeping as an example. There are many colored fine lines, but there are not enough spaces for metal lines to hold color infills. And color infills can only be solid colors, not gradient. So we can only do printing for this design rather than soft enamel or imitation hard enamel. Soft enamel and imitation high enamel are similar in manufacturing process, but imitation high enamel requires one more step of polishing, so the production time is longer than soft enamel. Stainless steel printing apple seeping requires the least production time because it's all printing. So if your design needs to be made in a relatively short time, we would suggest printing. If budget is your top priority, then we suggest stainless steel printing epoxy pin, as it's the cheapest option among the three. Imitation hard enamel will be the most expensive one. Even though stainless steel printing epoxy pins are quick to make and can include small details in small sizes, they are typically considered as a cheap promotional product and are not with as much value as enamel pins. It's because the standard thickness is just 0.7 mm which makes them very lightweight. And generally speaking, people usually like their pins to be heavier, so it feels more valuable and durable. Soft enamel and imitation high enamel, on the other hand, are thicker, and enamel gives your design a more satisfactory look. Soft enamel has an uneven pin surface, so you will see here the enamel color is below the metal lines, whereas imitation high enamel is flat and smooth, so the metal lines and color infills are at the same level. Most of the time it comes down to personal preference, but in our experience, most people think imitation high enamel gives a more premium vibe and feels more valuable and high quality. One of the most frequently asked questions is, is there no other way? We understand that customers might prefer enamel pins, but there are just small details in their design that can't be done by enamel. In this case, we will suggest enamel with printing. Take this design for example. Customers love soft enamel, but this design has gradient color here, and there are so many fine lines on the mask. So we will have to print the oval shape, and then we will do the fine line raised metal instead. For small areas that can't be drawn enamel, we will print or make them raise metal. So the majority of the pin can stay enamel. In conclusion, there are many factors affecting the type of pin that suits your design. If you are still confused after watching this video, please feel free to contact our sales reps and we'll be more than happy to recommend the best type of pin that suits your design. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.